Hi, I'm Mike Turner, your friendly filmmaker, and today we're going to be testing some image stabilization with the Panasonic G85 and the Canon M50. So I've done an image stabilization test with the Canon M50 in the past, but I wanted to do another comparing it to the Panasonic G85. The cameras are somewhat similar, although the current price of the Canon M50 is $200 cheaper. The Panasonic G85 has this sensor shifting technology to stabilize your footage, and the M50 is totally electronic in the way it stabilizes. There's no physical movement of the sensor. But what does that really mean in terms of your footage? All right, so now I'm shooting at a 50th of a shutter, F5.6. And keep in mind, if you want to fast forward to different segments during the testing, just check the description below and you can fast forward to whatever you want to see. And for the rest of you that want to watch the whole test, and look, I can't blame you, man. This, this stuff is exciting. Just get your popcorn, sit back, and enjoy the show. Here we go. All right, so now I'm shooting at a 50th of a shutter, F5.6. Uh, ISO, six, uh, ISO is 640. And we're just going to do a quick walking test. I'm at 24 millimeters. I'm just going to walk around my backyard so you get an idea of the image stabilization. Again, so now we're going to walk again to the other side. Image stabilization is on. All right, let's walk back. Of course, this is the Canon M50 that I'm shooting with right now. This is the Canon M50. I'm gonna come back to the bag. I'm gonna swing back around here. Do a quick paint to the shed. Turn back over here. So as you can see here, you get a mild jitter when you're using the digital IS in the Canon M50 get a, a, a little vibration in, in your shot. All right, so here we go again. We're doing the test with the G85, shooting at f5.16, 50th of a shutter, ISO's 800, and there is no end stabilization turned on. So here we go with the walk. So as you can see, the shot is extremely shaky. Looks like total garbage. You would never use this. And now let's take a look at dual IS. Now, notice the difference between the Canon and the G85. It's almost like you're on a gimbal with the G85. That's how smooth the footage is. You're not quite at gimbal status, but you're like 70% of the way there. With the Canon, like we saw before, you're getting some of that crazy jitter in your shot. It's looking, it's stable, but it has this vibration to the image. So when we take a look at the enhanced digital IS in the Canon M50, we see that 
It looks even worse than the digital IS. Uh, it's, it's giving you more of a, a warp to your image and you're getting more of that, that jitter, that jittery footage that you really just can't even use. It's almost unusable if you were to be shooting uh, a setting like this, you're shooting kind of wide and you're just walking. You almost cannot use this footage. It just, it just doesn't work. So now let's take a look at the E stabilization in the Panasonic G85. So the, the E stabilization, electronic stabilization, um, doesn't look as good as the dual IS, but it's still pretty decent. Uh, it will add a little warp to your image, almost like what warp stabilizer does in Premiere Pro. So there are your results from the walking test. As we can see, the Panasonic G85 does way better than the Canon M50 if you're using the camera in this fashion. In the next test, what I'm going to do is just kind of stand still and just kind of just revolve around a subject, just arc around a subject. And let's see how the cameras fare in a situation like this. Now, just as a reminder, here's the results with no stabilization. And now let's turn on the dual IS and see what that does. And as you can see, it's really not bad. It's, it's actually very good. And if you turn on the E stabilization on top of the dual IS, it's still very good. So both work very well. So as you can see here, just so you remember, here's what it looks like when there's no M stabilization with the Canon M50. Here are the results when you're using lens stabilization and everything else is off. And as you can see, the results are pretty good. Now here's the results when you're using digital IS. As you can see, it's actually not bad. And now when you use the enhanced IS, the results are also pretty good in my opinion. You are getting a little, just a little, little bit of a jitter, but it's really not noticeable. All right, so there are the results from that test. Again, I think whether you're using the Canon M50 or you're using the Panasonic G85, if you're standing still and you're just panning, you're tilting, you're kind of revolving around your subject, I think they're all going to do a good uh, job with that particular with that particular type of shooting. Um, so no matter what image stabilization you choose, it's going to work. Um, and actually, you saw that in the earlier test too, because in the earlier test, I was kind of swinging from my shed over to like my deck and you could kind of see that it was smooth no matter what camera I chose. They, they both did well in that. So if you keep your body rigid, it's all about technique. You can achieve your results, just, but you just got to keep the camera somewhat steady. Now, I got a question from a viewer who was asking about, do I think the Canon M50 would be good for vlogging? Um, and what, I, what I'm thinking he meant is if I'm vlogging, and I'm walking because he said, is the stabilization good for vlogging? Which to me is implying that I'm going to be walking with the camera out like this. Does it look good? And I did a little test to show that. So here we go. Right, so this is, this is about 18 millimeters. Okay. So this is 18. When you're just using the lens stabilization, it's really not very good. You're bouncing all over the place. 
it's really not gonna work for you, I don't think. Switching over to digital IS, we can see that the camera is doing a better job of stabilizing the footage, but once again, you're still getting some of that micro jitter going on, and it doesn't look all that great. Once you switch to the enhanced digital IS, you can see there is a severe crop. And now that's also magnifying that jitter so you can see more of it. And this footage to some may be unusable, to some it might be okay. So it really kind of depends on what you're looking for, but this is the results and this is what it looks like. Now once we switch over to the G85, you can see here that using the dual IS, um, the results are way better than the Canon M50, it's way smoother, it's just a, a, a way better picture. And when you switch over to the e-stabilization, you do get a little bit of that warping. But again, it's not terrible and it does, again, still look better than the Canon's enhanced IS. All right, so there you have it. There are all your results. Um, sorry if this video is a little long, but I want to be thorough with the testing so that you guys can see exactly what you're getting. Um, in my opinion, I feel that the G85, which is not surprising, has way better image stabilization due to that sensor shifting technology that it uses. The sensor is physically moving when you move to adjust for your shot, and that makes a huge difference. The Canon is not. It's all electronic. It's just algorithms running in the background trying to figure out if you're moving left, or right, or whatever, and then adjust accordingly, but it's doing it digitally, and um, it does some really funky things to the pictures, in, in, to your image to correct it. So I don't know if that's the best thing to use if you're trying to get a, a really stable shot while you're moving. So there you go. Um, one thing to mention too, the G85, the e-stabilization will also work with manual lenses. So if you have a manual lens that has no electronics, you know, an older Nikon or something or a Pentax lens, it will, add some electronic stabilization to your lens. And in my opinion, it's not really that bad. The Canon cannot do that. You can only stabilize lenses that are electronic. And not only electronic, but they have to be electronic and they have to also already have stabilization in them. If you put a lens that does not have stabilization in it on a Canon, it just does not stabilize. There it is. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, please go ahead and like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos where I'm always doing tests just like this, giving tutorials, giving my opinions, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I'm Mike Turner. Thanks for watching. I guess I'll see you soon.